one of the common problems we face in aptitude exams are the time and work problems if we know the basic concepts about time and work you will learn that these problems are very easy to solve hi i'm karan from team must and in this video i'll help you understand the basics behind time and work problems so let's roll the first method we'll be using is the fraction and work method let's see let's consider a person a and he can do a work in 8 days so the work done by person a in one day will be equals to 1 by a similarly a person b can do a work in b days so the work done by b in one day will be 1 divided by b so now if a and b together are working so the work done by them together in one day will be equals to one day work of a plus work done by b in one day which is equals to 1 divided by b a plus 1 divided by b let's see an example to understand this problem if a can do a work in 10 days and b can do the same work in 12 days then the work will be completed in how many days first of all we'll have to calculate the work done by a in one day which is equals to 1 divided by 10 now similarly we'll do it for b which is equals to 1 divided by 12 the work done by b in one day now the work done by a and b in one day will be equals to a plus b which is 1 divided by 10 plus 1 divided by 12 which is equals to 22 by 120 so now in order to get the days we'll just reverse this fraction so we get 120 by 22 days so the work will be completed by a and b together in 120 by 22 days which is equals to 5.45 days now let's see another method to solve the same problem this method is percentage of work done method and it is more easier than the first method and it gives a more sense of clarity while solving the problem so let's see let's say a person a can do work in 8 days so now the work done by person a in one day will be equal to 100 divided by a percentage of the total work Similarly for the case B if a person can do a work in B days the work done by one in the one day will be equal to 100 divided by B percentage of the work so now if both are working together the work done by person A and the person B together in one day will be equal to the percentage of work done by A in one day plus percentage of work done by b in one day so now we get 100 divided by a plus 100 divided by b let's see this same problem and try to solve it with the percentage of work done method if a can do work in 10 days and b can do same work in 12 days then the work will be completed in how many days first of all we'll calculate the one day work of a next we'll calculate the work done by b in one day so the one day work of a is equals to 100 divided by 10 which is equals to 10 percentage next for b we have it 100 divided by 12 equals to 8.33 percentage so now in order to get the combined work of a and b together we just add 10 plus 8.33 which is equals to 18.33 percentage of the work is done by a and b together in one single day so now when we divide it divide 100 by 18.33 we'll get the number of days required to complete the 100% work and the answer is 5.45 days so you can see that this method is pretty much easier than the first method and it gives a more sense of clarity like how much amount of work has been done 
and how much amount of work is left so there are less chances of making mistakes so if you are stuck with a problem in the aptitude exams definitely i'll recommend you to go with this method so now we'll see the negative work and its application for example let's say person a and person b are trying to build a wall and the person c is trying to destroy the wall so now we have to find out when will the work be completed or how many days will the work take to be completed in order to do that we'll consider the work of c as negative let's begin with an example to see the uh, understand the method here we have a can build a wall in 10 days and b can build it in 5 days while c can completely destroy the wall in 20 days if they start working at the same time in how many days will the work be completed so here first we'll find out the one day work of a which is 100 divided by 10 equals to 10 percentage now we'll calculate the work done by b in one day which is 100 divided by 5 equals to 20 percentage now the work done by c in one day will be 100 divided by 20 equals to 5 percentage so now the work done by c is negative work hence we'll put a minus sign in front of it and let's try to calculate the work done by a b and c together in one day we'll get a plus b plus c which is 25 percentage 10 plus 20 minus 5 equals to 25 percentage so now in one single day if a b and c work together 25 percentage of the work is done so now we can easily calculate 100 divided by 25 percentage will give us how many days will it take if a b and c work together to complete the entire work so we get 4 days and in 4 days a b and c can completely build the wall if they are working together feel free to ask anything via the comment section below and also you can suggest us any topic for our upcoming video hope you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel team must as there are lot of videos coming up till then be must and keep rocking i'll see you in the next video soon bye bye